Clean this up a little bit. And we can talk from right here. Right here, good deal, man. Mm -hmm. Awesome, all right, are we going? Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, yeah, I'm ready, man. <laughs> okay, well, basically what our channel was about, guys over 40, 45, having to do things different as far as nutrition, training, all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. So I know you're hitting 40, so you probably experienced some of the things that happen when you start getting a little bit old, you know, the older mm -hmm. joint issues. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know if you've messed with different types of food or not lately, but. Um, yeah, I fuck with all kinds of food. Yeah, I figured you did, man. Yeah, yeah. there's no so food that I don't mess that, around with. That you don't with. mess around with? Yeah, every single You follow piece of any it. type of diet strategy or anything? Seafood diet. See, you see it, you eat it. I see it, I, I eat it. I hear you, man. All right, well, my big deal, once you start getting 40, you kind of clean it up a little bit. Mm. Uh, carb cycling. All right. So we're all about carb cycling. Yeah, right? so I'm cycling on and on, <laughs> on and, and on and on. So like I just had cake. I can tell you're getting some size back, man. Mm. Yeah, that's good. So especially, Yeah, you know, carbs. I get fat real quick, though. Yeah. I don't fuck around. That's why you don't do them every day, all the time. Yeah. Kind of earn your carbs, do them, you know, when you have your hard, intense workouts and good mm -hmm. for recovery and all that stuff, man. Yeah, get fat that, easy. Oh, yeah, it doesn't take long, man. Mm -hmm. I real, realized that when I started getting older. Mm -hmm. You know, because I've been training since 1987, so I've been doing this a mm -hmm. long time, too. Mm -hmm. And you can get away with a lot of crap when you're younger, man, you know? Mm -hmm. Now it's, I look at pictures from when I started lifting in 1994, and I'm like, no, nah, I wasn't getting away with it then either. <laughs> I got fat real quick. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't take long. I was building long. muscle, but I got uh, fat super quick. I was oh, yeah. eating like peanut butter and jelly every day and shit like that. Oh yeah, yeah, a lot of people, mm -hmm. man. Hey, protein shakes, not even protein shakes. Back then it was weight gainer. Oh yeah. And it, yeah. I had one that was called weight gainer, shakes. I think 3,200. Uh -huh. It may have been 5,000 yeah. calories. And I would drink this shake. It had like 80 grams of sugar. And I would drink that with my, with my dinner. Oh, yeah. I eat dinner and drink that. Yeah, that's, uh, you're, yeah you're going to get too many calories, man. Spill over mm -hmm. and all that crap, and they're full of junk. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of fillers. Yeah, I remember back then, too. Even before I used the protein. to put cereal in, in protein shakes and shit. Uh, oh, did you? Yeah. So, like <laughs> so you'd extra, eat it? Extra shit, not you blend drink it, or what? it, drink and it, it, and chew. Yeah, yeah, I've done that before, man. Like a big baby baba. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Went right I, to I my belly. It. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Rotund. Amino acid tablets back before the protein powders. Did you do that? You put a bunch of tablets in and start chewing on them? Liver like dirt. tablets. Liver tablets, too. Liver. Yeah, you did the liver tablets. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. So it, it's come mm -hmm. a long ways, you know. Did you do uh, animal packs? Uh, oh, yeah, everybody did animal <laughs> packs, man. That might have been the first thing I ever bought. <laughs> animal pack. Giant pills, hard to swallow. Yeah, loaded. Taking them two or three times a day. Barely able to mm -hmm. swallow some those pills. Packs. Yep. Crazy, man. Did the animal packs. So supplements have come a long way, for sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Remember when ephedra was legal? Oh, yeah, ECA stacks. Yeah. Yeah, caffeine and I was and addicted on this shit uh, like it was cocaine. Dude, it worked like, you know, nobody mm -hmm. in business, man. It was crazy. Yep. Agent Orange. What was it yeah. called? Ultimate Orange? Ultimate Orange. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, that was loaded in ephedra. Pre-workout before shit. the big pre-workout. Yeah. Ah! Rage. Yeah, man. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Ultimate Orange, man. That's some awesome stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but unfortunately, we can't do any of that crap anymore, you know? Mm, no. Yeah, but it, it, it works. But, um, yeah, that's my big deal, man. That's... Guys over 40, joint injuries, mm -hmm. overuse, doing a lot of crap. You have joint injuries? Uh, I, I did, yeah. When what I was kind of joint, training. where do you get problems? Well, I had my left knee give me problems, my back give me problems, yeah. I had an elbow give me problems. Um, but that was mid-30s, late-30s. Mm -hmm. So I changed a lot of stuff up after that, yeah. man. Yeah. That's, that's you, like uh, our mentality. Mid-30s, late-30s? Oh, yeah, that's man. That's when the big baseball bat comes upside your head and fucks you up so that you Definitely, can man. change your ways for the next season. <laughs> yes. Yeah, that's when I tore my bicep, my right bicep. Oh, man. I tore my Achilles tendon at a hernia repair, and I fell on my head on a uh, trampoline. Oh. I was on a fucking trampoline like a kid, like it was romper room and shit. <laughs> Did oh, a flip yeah. and landed on my goddamn head. Oh, man. That, yeah, that's definitely not good, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So I know what you're saying. Yeah. And so you got to re-strategize. Re-strategize, do things differently. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I, what I do, my tricon training, triple contraction training. So mm -hmm. that's my big deal that I had to come up with. Mm -hmm. Trying to figure out a way to still do some strong stuff, mm -hmm. but not overdoing the strong stuff. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So what's your goal? My goal is lean muscle, you know. Mm -hmm. For what? To build lean muscle. Yeah. Be athletic. The why? The why? The why changes, doesn't it? Oh, it does, for sure, yeah. man. Yeah. What was the why 20 years ago? Uh, the why 20 years ago, I just want to be bigger than everybody else. 
No, the and why. The, the why, why did I want to be bigger else? than everybody yep, else? Why? The confidence that came with it, man. As a man, you want to be confident. Mm -hmm. People tend to lack confidence. You start getting fat and stuff, you lose some mm -hmm. of your confidence. Confidence. So you need confidence for what? Now? I'm grown. Well, back then. Well, back then. Yeah, I we're going to talk about the difference. Oh, yeah, I'll tell you a big difference, man. When you're younger, you don't, if you don't have the confidence, man, it's going to affect everything you do in life. Yeah. With women, yeah. with raising your kids, are you doing this right, doing that right? Mm -hmm. You know, I mean. You want to be alpha amongst your boys, too. Oh, yeah, definitely. So, and you want your kids to see that. status. Okay, you want right. your kids to see that, you know. That's you, us. We old. We're talking about when, 20 years ago, you didn't have <laughs> oh, a kid. Oh, yeah, you're going back to 20 years ago. You didn't yeah. have any kids 20 years ago. We're yeah, still yeah, talking yeah. about that so we can talk about the difference uh, now. Okay, okay. Yeah, back uh -huh. then, that's what you want. You want uh -huh. status. You want respect. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you want other people to see you and acknowledge you. You don't mm -hmm. want to be overseen. Right. You know? You yeah. don't want to be the skinny guy. Right. And you don't want to be the fat guy. Exactly. Both suck. Right. Skinny guy got to build some muscle. Oh, yeah, man. Fat guy. There's different kinds of fat guys, though. Oh, yeah. There's no, fat for guys sure. that is fat from shame. Yeah. And they got to lose the weight because uh, they feel bad about themselves and they build the confidence. Right. But there's another kind of fat guy. There's a psychopath fat guy, the guy that's got so much energy to dominate the world around him that he oh, carries yeah. so much fat that it doesn't even fucking matter. Think of, like, Biggie. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's just fat, and, but it was alpha fat, and the bitches right. loved it. Right, right, right. Yeah. He ignores the outside world, yeah. yeah. Yeah, he's happy with who he is. That's all that matters. Yeah. It doesn't always have to be the lean that yeah. makes you happy. Yeah. You know, yeah. that, that's yeah. a big deal, man. Skinny guys, though, can't. Oh, the only no. way these skinny guys can be the same way and the other opposite is if they're really fucking smart. Yeah. Yeah, like Bill Gates kind of smart. Like, oh, exactly. Then it's like, yeah, I'm skinny, I'm weak, <laughs> I'm a fucking nerd, but I'm loaded because I'm a geek. Yeah. yeah. So, again, nobody else matters. You know, yeah, it's so those guys it's in status. between. Definitely, for sure, mm -hmm. man. Yeah, but I've been doing this, like I said, a long time. And I got started so early because I needed that confidence. When? Uh, I got started in 1987. How man. old are you? I was in seventh grade. Yeah, so yeah, I had a crappy little upbringing, grade, man. Yeah, yeah, it didn't have a male influence. Mm -hmm. So it took me trying to get better than other people to mm -hmm. seek you know, approval from other people. Mm -hmm. That's kind of what got me started. Show yourself, yeah. Oh, yeah, for sure, man. Stand out amongst the rest, you mm -hmm. know. Started working out, training. You, funny what a little muscle does. Yeah, right at that age, 214. Oh, oh yeah, man. That testosterone yeah, you got come up a little bit. Testosterone levels, man. You start building muscle, then everybody looks at you different. Mm -hmm. For something that simple, you know, mm -hmm. it just makes You're a, big a different difference. man. Oh yeah, mentally, mm -hmm. you know, you drown out the outside noise. You don't always worry about other people. Mm -hmm. You know, that's that made a big difference with me mm -hmm. early. Yeah, mm -hmm. but and, you lose and that, they, and they worried about you. Oh, for you get sure, so man. Huge, they worried. Oh yeah, yeah. 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 So then you get guys that don't like you. You mm -hmm. know, that's the thing. That's yeah. why you can't worry about them. Yeah, yeah they true. don't want to be passed up by anybody else. Mm -hmm. Everybody wants this level status or you below them. Yeah. You know, you start working out, you start building confidence, you act different, more mm -hmm. alpha. Yeah. You know, and then you don't worry about them and other guys don't like that, man. Mm -hmm. Especially because so. the girls and chicks are checking oh, yeah. you out now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it doesn't take mm -hmm. much. But see, that was the back then. Now, what's up? But now you lose that. So you what's know? the goal now? When you lose it, my goal now is to get that back. To, get that back. To, to get that back. Mm. Yeah, you know, I'm married now, man, 23 years. Have then three why kids. you need it back? You don't for need me. pussy. You're no, alpha no, no, in your that, home. It's never about that, man. It's for personal confidence. Yeah. For just continuing to be the man, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? I mean, mm -hmm. be a leader. Mm -hmm. you, you have know? children, right? I've got three, yeah, 20, 18, and 16, man. Damn, I've raised you got my kids. grown kids. I've got grown, man. You started before me. Yeah, yeah I did. How well, I started, you I'm, I'm 45. I'm 45, I had my mm -hmm. first kid at 25. Mm -hmm. Okay, I was 24, so we're about the same. Okay, so we're close, yeah. man. Yeah, so you're, you're getting into these stages. How old are your kids? 8, 10, 12, 14. Oh, man, you're just getting started. So I'm right behind you. Mm -hmm. Girls, boys? Girl, 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 boy. Ooh, good luck. Oh, yeah. Two girls and a boy. Oh, my, my boy's easy, man. Man, you don't have to wish me luck because you did it. You're there. You're making it. <laughs> oh, I know. It happen. I'm there, man. Yeah, yeah but you did you need you, luck? You, yeah, I need a luck, man. Yeah. I mean, you get through these little hard points, yeah. man. Your girls get teenagers and stuff. So you're going like this? Well, luck, 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 luck. You rub it on. Uh, no, I was going prayer, 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 man. I'm, ah. I'm, I'm praying, yeah. Grace. Yes, for sure. Yeah. Yeah, Pray I need all the grace. help I can get, for and, sure, man. Uh -huh. Yeah, but my son was easy. Here's the thing about being a man raising a son. You're harder on your son. And how old is your son? He's 18 now. He just graduated high school. He's your oldest? He's my middle. I got a 20-year-old daughter. Oh, my, my yeah. son is the youngest. And so you're hard on him. Yeah, I was hard on him, man. <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah. yeah, yeah, you're hard on your your kids, your boys, and your daughters a little bit different. 
Mm-hmm. That, that, you know, you can make a mistake by treating them too soft, mm-hmm. you know, but you're trying to protect them, give them things. And, you know, I was totally different with my mm-hmm. girls than I was with my son. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, but for it, my son never gave me problems, man. Mm-hmm. You know? So, but he can't give you the problems because you're jacked. I, yeah, that had a lot to do with it growing All up. Right, you got to respect but, his dad. Right, his dad exactly. Still could put exactly. him in a chokehold. But the girls know that the doesn't matter. Naked. You know, they yeah. can they can shed a tear, man, when they get older and mm-hmm. all's forgotten. Mm-hmm. And when yeah. they talk back, you don't come with the tricep this way. No, no, never oh. did, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah I, I grew up that kind of discipline. You know, mm-hmm. my kids when they were little, I took a little. You know, you had to be hard on them, man. Mm-hmm. That's just how I was raised, so that's how I was with them. Mm-hmm. And uh, but it struck Spare fear the rod, in them early. Spoil the child. Oh yeah, for sure, man. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Kids need discipline. Uh, they do, and they mm-hmm. lack it now. That's this, the problem. They lack it because in this world, they make them believe that it's a YOLO. Uh, kind of lifestyle, uh, yeah. and that the children could do whatever they want, they could say whatever they want to whoever they want. All the movies, the kids just act like fucking brats, the kids on oh, TV. Oh, yeah, man. They walk around like they're adults in little fucking yeah. bodies. And our s- kids see that. Yeah, and yeah. then they think they could do it. Right, exactly. They yeah. test you, yeah. And that's what it's all about. The teenage years are all about testing, man. Mm-hmm. You know, because of that, their friends are doing it, TV showing them it's okay. Everywhere they look, it's okay, you know? Mm-hmm. And uh, so you're gonna be challenged and test, tested, mm-hmm. but if you put that, you know, discipline in them early, then mm-hmm. they'll only push you, you know, so far. They won't go over and above. Mm-hmm. You gotta see you my know. crazy face at least once. Oh yeah, for sure, and man. You don't experience wanna see it again, the rage, man. <laughs> you know, you experience the rage once and they know they don't wanna see it again. Uh-huh. Yeah. And yeah. Do, do your daughters date? Uh, yeah, they do. How old the oldest? Uh, she's 20. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. she's 20, yeah, she's man. She's dating. Yeah, yeah, she's dating. Uh-huh. And so uh, the young men, when they come to the house, how does that go down? Uh, They don't like coming to the house. Yeah, they try to avoid Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They usually see social media, man. My my daughter showed them a picture of me. They don't want to meet me. Right. You know, so it's a little bit different. I'm all over fucking YouTube acting like an ape. That's all it takes, man. Don't let them keep, don't let your daughters not show the picture of you. You know what I'm saying? Set that tone early. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's what I figured out, man. Mm-hmm. But they'll they'll show their friends and stuff. Yeah, so boys and they don't all do this over. bullshit with the text message in between. Like, remember we had to call the girl oh, house. Oh yeah, man. And, and say hello to the dad. <laughs> and can I speak with your daughter? Yep, I They're remember. Text message, all that slide behind the uh, exactly back shit. Yeah. But then when he comes to the house, what happened? When he comes to the house? Yeah. I haven't yeah. had any boys come to my house yet, so I'm asking you. Well, I'm telling you right now, we haven't had a whole lot to my house. Okay. You know, so it takes a little while. But then they come to my house and. You know, I'm a Christian guy, so the mm-hmm. first thing I want to make sure is they have the same beliefs I have, mm-hmm. you know, for my daughter. This is how I raise my daughters and my son. I want them to be raised by somebody with the same beliefs. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I don't want somebody influencing them and changing them. Mm-hmm. So, but then you got to learn how to read these guys. Mm-hmm. You know, they've probably been rehearsed, man. My daughters mm-hmm. know. They'll rehearse them a little bit. Yeah, they, 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 they come to the house expecting to be asked certain questions and stuff. Mm-hmm. So you have to be able to read them, mm-hmm. you know, and... That's my main thing, man. You got to make sure you strike a little bit of fear in them. Mm-hmm. That's one thing for sure. I'm known as, I'm mean. Everybody that knows me knows I'm not mean. Yeah. But everyone that meets me through my daughters think I'm mean. Just Good. a mean face. Mm-hmm. You know, Straight face. Oh, straight face, man. You know, there's a time when men would just have a straight fucking face on. Exactly. Like, you know when you take a picture all the time? We're going to do it later, too. We're going to put this gay smile on. Yeah. <laughs> Fake fucking smile. Uh, the yeah, dumbest man. thing ever. Right. Yo, when you look at pictures from dudes from the 1800s. Oh, yeah, man. They will have a big beard and a straight mouth. <laughs> yeah, no smiling at all. I got you. Yeah, because yeah. that's my straight face. Now, I'm not mean. Right. But I'm just looking at you straight on. I'm just giving you my straight on. That's what it takes, mm-hmm. man. So they can call you, you, you me. You set the tone, man, when you do that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, for sure. But it, there's going to come a time your daughter's getting older, man. So mm-hmm. that's just, you know, I mean, you got it. They'll see mm-hmm. you, and they're not going to want to meet you either. Mm-hmm. You oh, know? Yeah. They're already scared. <laughs> they're going to be scared, mm-hmm. but that's good. And I've been lifting again, man. I yeah, had I know. So many you injuries. filled out a lot, man. I had to stop because I had so many injuries. That's I crazy. I busted myself up. I yeah. had to take a break. I did yoga for like two years. Oh, man. On and off, lifting here and there, but uh, you know, I gotta have something to strive for, like to compete for. Yeah, yeah. So we got the Strength Camp Challenge coming up. It's ah, my own event. Ah, there you go. But I'm like, all right, I'm gonna come just... back and I'm gonna I'm gonna compete in that. Okay. So I've got uh, 225 bench press as many times as I can. Okay. Yeah. How there many you times go. do you do it? Uh, I don't know, man. Probably 12 to 15. Not a wow. whole lot. Yeah. You probably got me bet, huh? We'll do yeah, it? I think I think maybe we should do that. Let's you do a bench and let's let's see. talk about this. Okay, let's map it out then, because yeah, uh, we'll do it together. So I have uh, two twenty-five bench press as many times as I can. Okay, man, I might get eight, 
Let's see, we'll have to see. All right, so I got that. And then I got max effort deadlift. So that's, deadlift as much as you can. I yeah. didn't bring my deadlifting shoes, but uh, I'll go up a little heavy. You wanna go up to go up in a deadlift? Sure. With me? Yo, I just ate cake. <laughs> oh, so you can be eight full of energy, man. Yeah. So yeah, I changed my mind. Yeah, look at you. <laughs> yeah. We'll just touch and go these. Okay. Cake uh, just hit. Huh? Cake just hit. <laughs> cake just hit. <laughs> yeah, the veins are gonna start coming out. Good. The cake just hit. Uh, there's that. And then there's stones. Never so done we, stones, man. Oh. Well. Yeah, 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 yeah. I guess you're gonna be doing my workout today. I'm gonna be doing yours. All right, okay, all right. Cool. That's so all we'll have those stones for okay. first time. Rookie. Oh, yeah, man. Yeah. You had to coach me you up on the stones, you got a burst man. Of cherry. <laughs> see, these, see these right here? Oh, that's from the stones, huh? Yeah. So All you're right. going to bleed like a virgin. I hear you. So you got stones. Uh, farmers. Oh, fuck. I'm not looking forward to this, but I'll do it right here. We'll do it right here. Farmers carry uh, uh, 190 a hand. Okay. 190 pounds a hand, and you got to go back and forth as far as you can, as long as you can. Okay. So I can probably, we'll see. I, I haven't done it. I, I'm, just, I'm a rookie, bro. Okay. So we'll see. And then uh, the last one, and maybe we'll start with this one because it'll be like a good warm up, uh, is medicine. Well, it's supposed to be a sandbag, but we'll take one of the medicine balls. Gotcha. And it's a backwards medicine ball toss. Okay. Yeah, that should be dope. Uh, so you got that coming up. How long do you have to prepare for that? So uh, I'm going to compete in the 200 pound weight class. Okay. I just, I just fasted. I did six months of prolonged fasting. Oh, cool. I got down 168 pounds. I was trying to lose muscle. Oh, man. I, my whole point was just to strip down. To bleed, see how, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bleed it all out. And uh, so I'm gaining back a little bit. I want to get a little over 200 over the course of the next three weeks. I'm going to be traveling, so I'll be eating more. Right. But I want to get fat. Yeah, so I hear that you, carb man. cycling. Like carb cycling, man. Can't beat it. Don't have to count calories or nothing, man. Nothing, and nothing better. Yeah. Yep. Intermittent fasting. I do intermittent fasting. I do the 16 two together. Eight. Yeah, perfect. 16 8. Yeah. Maybe throw a nomad in every once in a while. You know what a nomad oh, yeah. is? Uh, was that 24 hours? So, you know what OMAD is? OMAD what? O M A D. What is that? One meal a day. Never heard that? No, I haven't heard it that way. You gotta look no. it up on YouTube. Okay. One meal a day. How many o -M -A -D. calories? OMAD. Uh, that's just one meal a day. So, like, you do like almost Yo, like a um, big meal. Remember Ari Hoffmeckler? Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, Warrior Diet. Uh huh. Yeah. So, it's just like you do that one meal at night. Okay. I hear you. That's OMAD. Nomad is, I made that up. That means no meal a day. Okay, no meal to, a day. It means you go to bed. Straight up fat, 24 hours? So, it no. use like 36. Okay, like 36 oh, man. Hours. Okay. So I'll fuck around with those. Um, well, let's get started then. Oh yeah, so we'll gain that weight, then I'm gonna do another 14 day fast. And then I have seven weeks to bulk up and comp competition train. Oh man. We'll see, and, I, and I'm, I'm not well. You're not well, huh? No, my knees are all fucked up. I okay. did well, hey. deadlifts. I did stones last week. Okay. My adductor on this side is super hypertrophied because when I tore this Achilles tendon, I had to stabilize with this leg. yeah, man. Yeah. All through here, I stabilized. So I'm all, I'm all jacked up. So I got a lot no, of rehab to do. Okay. We'll see. Okay, for sure. Yeah, it's a rebuilding process. Torn medial meniscus, so I'm, I'm good. Yep, I saw this one too, <laughs> so man. So you're not doing well with your knees, man. I got that in a... Nope. That's yep. the thing. Well, Oh, warriors, man. Oh, yeah, you gotta have battle wounds, right? man. Been through fucking battle. Oh, yeah, for sure. All right, so I'm gonna take my shit out of my pocket. I'm, I've been stretching already. Uh, I'm gonna stretch just a little bit more. You're good. And then we'll, and then, and you can stretch with me. I don't know. Yeah, I'm gonna have to for sure. For yeah, you, do something. Oh, so I'm gonna do my stretching routine. You do your old stretching okay. routine. We are starting with what? Look, give me a rundown again and so, so I know what all gotta the warm order. up. All right, order. We're gonna do medicine ball back toss. Okay. Because it's power. Power. We'll start power. Boom. Then we're gonna do uh, stones. Okay. Then we'll do. Uh, oh, so we're gonna do bench press. Bench press depleted. Yeah. Okay. Hey, it's a competition. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta I do it you, all. Man. I hear you. I watched. Uh, do you watch see uh, Born Strong? Uh, yeah, yeah, I've seen Born Strong. Yeah, yeah. on Netflix. That's old school. Yeah. Those guys did it all, man. Yeah. And they ate like beasts. So I'm gonna start stretching. Cool. Yeah, we'll be depleted. For the bench press, but that doesn't matter because bench press is not as important as stones. Stones. All right, this is gonna be interesting. Put these out here. All right, we got. But, uh... 